Okay, my IKVM is telling me that my interface is on 192.168.1.224, so that's what we're gonna do. I just logged in once uh, to see how it looks and I really have <laughs> this is the literally the first time I'm getting acquainted with this system <sighs> I'm excited and um, there's a lot of things that I want to try but first and foremost I'm sure we have to set up our storage and the basics let's see the network the network Default row, name servers, so they just activate one that's on DHCP and the rest are kaput. I suppose I have to add this manually because these two are 10 gigs and these two are 1 gigs. IPMI, channel, that's good. Settings. Maybe I can have more than one gig. No, I can't. Huh. Okay, so I don't see any lag in networks. I don't see. A lot of things are missing from networking. Uh, storage. Okay, so I have those two 10 terabyte drives. So the first things first. Let's create. Um, let's. I was messing around in C library, but let's create um, a mirror, right? So let's create a mirror of these two, and let's call it ice. Uh, I don't have any spare SSDs for cache or log or spare hard drives for these 10 terabytes for spare. They wouldn't fit in my super micro ch chassis anyway. Okay, so let's create that. It's creating volume mice. Let me see if I can create another volume. So I'm just going to create I don't really need a profile for this. Ooh, I can encrypt. Interesting. Key encrypt or password encrypt. Huh. Very interesting. Alright, so I'm gonna call it fire. Because then I have fire and ice, right? And this is gonna be for all my VMs for containers. Um, I need to recreate as soon as possible my Unify controller so after I set this up okay it's done it's pretty fast I have to say it's snappy let me go back to uh, the UI this UI seems responsive and airy ooh interesting CPU temperature disk input output disk temperature load average network traffic yeah pretty self-intuitive these widgets I'm sure I can add more let me go back on track so I have fire and ice right I haven't created any shares yet um, but I don't think I need any for as long as I have storage I should be able to create uh, containers there's no items containers I think I might create a, a docker host first what I was reading is correct, so let's try that. Let's call it. You can call yours, whatever you want. Okay, and since I have 16, I'm going to give you 10 cores because I want a lot of containers running on this. Uh, let's see, 40 gigs of DDR4 ECC RAM should suffice, and let's set it on fire because my uh, NVMe. Uh, is much faster than spinning rust, of course. And click save. Okay, nothing's happening. Nothing is happening. What's happening? Was I kicked off? 
What's going on here? Let me try to re-log in. I'm gonna refresh the page. Look at that. That's my third login. Ah. Uh, okay. Let me clear all these alerts. Let me go back to Docker. Try to do that again. Maybe it doesn't like capital letters. Set it on fire. Hmm. I don't see the reason why I didn't like capital letters, or maybe it was something else entirely. All right. So that's getting created. While that's getting created, let me look at the rest. Actually, a dashboard we can see. All right. So I'm gonna change this probably. Coral release. You can see uptime. There you have it. The best. <laughs> the best representation of how long I've been acquainted with this. I have, like I said, Intel Xeon CPU D1541 at 2.1 gigahertz, 16 cores. Okay, and I have 64 gigs of ECC memory. Uh, I have... Um, ...9.1 terabytes times 2. Those are the iron bolts. This is the USB on which the system is located and the SSD. And that's really overview of the whole system. So this Docker configuration is done. Let's see. Yes! Okay, so it's green lighted. That means good, right? Oh, I see what happened. So Docker is like a guest virtual machine. How interesting. Well, the same settings here, look, 1040, gas valve, devices, shutdown, reboot. Huh. Okay, so Docker is really a VM, and then we can have containers. Huh. Okay, so now that I have Docker host, um, I'm not sure what any of this is yet. I have a lot of learning to do, so I'm flying by the seat of my pants and I apologize for the background noise because the washing machine is running in the background and it's driving me crazy too. Uh, so let's add... I'm, uh, I need to recreate my Unify controller first. That is like the bread and butter of everything. So my old one was based on Debian but let's see what they have here. Okay so Arsh I'm sure they have all the Linux distros. They have CentOS. There's Debian. Container. Ah, nice. Chuck DNS. Emacs. Cool. MB. Huh. Homebridge jacket. Cody server. Oh, interesting. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. Oh, lab stack. <laughs> Pulling up a website in, in... Ooh, let's encrypt! This is freaking awesome! This is awesome. Alright, so I'm gonna be probably moving my sites, some of them anyway, to this server and setting this properly. Mm, I'm liking this already. Mad Sonic. Okay. MongoDB. Awesome. Nice collab. Address. Nginx. Uh, open project. Plex! Yes, I'm gonna have to set this up like as soon as possible because my family is gonna kill me if I don't. Sorry, I had to pause here for a second. Uh, UPS guy just delivered me two big packages of something very exciting. Let's just say I've got new gear that I'm gonna be reviewing. It's brand new and I'm gonna even give you a hint. It's still in beta. So it's gonna be exciting unboxing those things but anyway I'm getting sidetracked again like I said Plex is of utmost importance to my family and I'm gonna to have to recreate that as soon as possible I'm really happy that there's a container for that so I had it running on um, Ubuntu server and I was pulling data from my other storage server so this is really exciting news for me Let's see. 
plexi pie. Interesting. <laughs> I'm loving this do uh, dockerized feel because unlike those previous plugins that you could have for FreeNAS, uh, this offers you far more flexibility and, and I'm sure there's going to be thousands of, of dockers on GitHub that you could pull from. So this is really exciting news. I mean, look at these. TeamSpeak. Huh. That's awesome. Another server I don't have to run anymore. I can just have it as a Docker. Ubuntu Unify. Unify! Look! It's Ubiquity Networks Unify controller and it's the last version. Oh, this is awesome. So this is special news, really. Ubiquity Networks Unify controller. A Docker inside the FreeNAS Coral. I'm really excited about this and I need to recreate my controller as soon as possible because my controller was running on on Debian 8.4 version and I had to manually naturally uh, set up uh, repositories, download, install so this will offer me everything so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and try to set it up right now so I'm gonna give it a name Unify TRL Docker host is the one I just created, right? I know all these ports, I recognize them from my controller. So I'm gonna enable them all. I'm not sure what this is. Looks important. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe I can do it. it Unify create a spe specially in there, huh? Time zone. I believe the proper way to do it is America slash New York. Network settings. It's too bridged. I need bridged. I need 192.168.1.253, which is the same. IP of my old control. I'm just going to generate a MAC address and host name. Let's say unify dot space. I'm going to skip these. I'm going to let uh, Docker host worry about that and see if it goes through. Okay, it's creating my unify controller. Oh, this is going to be so exciting if it goes through, if it goes through. All right, just to re-verify, I have not yet set up anything else. I've just set up storage, my Docker host, and I'm setting up Unify controller. I haven't touched networks yet. I haven't done a lot of things. So this is uh, as, of a, as much of a test run for me as it can be. While that's going, I'm gonna actually scrub uh, my uh, mechanical drives make sure everything is PG keen check the smart status and all that okay everything is good come on finish up and I haven't created any accounts or sharing or... Ooh, it's done! Let's see. Containers. Unify container. Oh, I'm running. 5.4.11 version. This is awesome! <laughs> Let's try it. Oh, well. There is a problem. We have a problem. It's not coming up. Uh, it could be something with the network. I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to investigate this, honestly. Um, maybe if I ping it. Uh, ping 192.168.1.253 Okay, so it's responding. It's up. Ladies and gentlemen, it's three hours later and after a lot of reboots and updates it seems that I finally got it working. So I'm getting the web UI. 
Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. I know in the meantime I could have set up a VM and set up Unify controller, but that's besides the point. I have to figure this out. So I have a static IP address for it, and apparently um, there was a lot of reboots and issues and updates, so something inside fixed it. I mean, there was no compelling reason why it shouldn't work. Alright, so I have a backup of my Unify, and... Alright, so date modified, there we go. Restore from backup, confirm. Alright, the moment of truth. Let's see if this is gonna work. To say that I'm holding my breath would be an understatement. Come on, you can do it. I'm gonna speak nicely to it. And we have action. <laughs> Holy smokes, we have a controller in place. <laughs> is everybody seeing this? Everything is online? Everything seems to be working? Everything is operational? Ladies and gentlemen, this must be the first online Unify controller uh, running is a Docker container in FreeNAS 10 Coral. This is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. And I managed to restore it from backup without a problem as soon as I was able to bring the container online. I had, uh, I had <laughs> to work really hard to do it, but it was worth it. And here we go. I mean, this in itself is a, is a video worth posting, but I'm, I'm going to get into the FreeNAS much more and actually run a lot of containers. So I will keep you informed and I will post more videos on this. So thank you very much for watching this and leave a comment, leave a like, maybe subscribe and have a great day as always.